It's Monday, the 16th of April 2018, and welcome to Navigating Your Day. In Jinshin Jitsu, safety energy lock number 16 came into the universe, meaning the basis of all human activities and breaking down old forms in order to replace them with new ones. And safety energy lock number 16 is located on the, at the base of the leg, well, on the foot really, on the outside of the ankle. And if you think about it, that is really the basis of the part of the body that helps us to move. So 16 is the foundation for all human activities. And if we are in harmony with safety energy lock number 16, then we are able to, um, to function fully or optimally in all the human activities that are possible to us. And that includes thinking, feeling, and also that deep spiritual connection that we are capable of having or making or fostering or working towards. 16 is a seven, and seven means perfect life power or victory. It's, a, it's um, the number that's associated with the Christ consciousness, so it's a deeply spiritual number. 16 is also about breaking down old forms in order for new ones, and it's uh, in the physiology, in the body, it's about scarring. It's used to soften and break down scarring. So it can also break down old scars in our psyche, in our emotions, emotional and mental scars that we have left over from events and circumstances in our lives that may have wounded us deeply and have scarred over. And so safety engine lock number 16, when we harmonize safety engine lock number 16, we are able to soften those scars and actually help to heal those wounds more fully so that there can be more flexibility because scarring creates rigidity, all right? So when you have scar tissue, it's not flexible like normal skin is any longer. And um, when we've been hurt, we become less flexible. We protect ourselves. We put barriers around our hearts, for example. We don't trust as easily. We, um, we have perceptions of ourselves about, you know, about I was betrayed because I'm not good enough or if I had been better, I wouldn't have been rejected or if I'd been... Um, a more perfect child, my, my mother wouldn't have abandoned me, or whatever it is. Those rigid ways of thinking are also scars. So safety engine lock number 16 helps us to break those down so that we can replace it with new, more flexible perceptions. Um, as I said, 16 is a 7, and 7 is about independent thinking. 7 is about, 7s uh, inherently have a deep fear of the future, an insecurity and fear of the future, and in order to fill that void created by that insecurity, 7s long for a deep spiritual connection. So 7 enables us to have deep empathy, um, not just sympathy, but empathy, empathy with the world, a, a sense of connection to everybody else. Um, a, a sense of oneness, oh, I'm going to sneeze, <coughs> excuse me, a sense of oneness with all life, with all creatures and with the planet. So today we may be able, we are able to connect with that energy. Seven is also about the, lo the road less traveled. So sevens are independent thinkers. Sevens generally are not about, um, or, or the energy of the seven or the 16, it's not so much about religion per se, but more about a spiritual quest for truth. Sevens like to be alone, and they love to be out and about, but they need to be alone in order to recharge. So today, if you find yourself feeling overwhelmed, because there just seems to be too many people, too much to do, just like my daughter calls it peopling, too much peopling, all right, then try and create some space for yourself. Take yourself out for a walk around your neighborhood for 10 minutes, you know, take at your, during your lunch break, go for a walk, uh, walk around the office, walk around the building, um, you know, just take yourself away where you can be alone and do some deep breathing, uh, move your body ideally, stretch or, or walk or, uh, you know, move in some form, jumping jacks if you want, um, and deep breathing, and what that will do is that will create that sense of connection for you again. So we've got the 7 today from 16, which is a water number. We've got the 4 from April, which is an earth number. And we've got the 2 from 2018, which is also a water number. So 4, remember, is the visionary. It allows us to see the big picture. It allows us to break the boundaries that keep us imprisoned. It allows us to see where those boundaries are. And either if we don't have sufficient boundaries, put some in place, you know, bring things in a little bit. So if you feel you're too out there, you're too scattered, you're not grounded enough, 4 helps you to 
bring that energy back and ground you better. Um, if you find that you are too grounded, that you are too rigid, that you are too caught in the box of your own making, then four can help you step outside of that and broaden your vision so that you can actually shift your boundaries also. Two from 2018 helps to keep us in touch with the idea that everything is always composed of equal and with as a synthesis of complementary opposites. So what that means is there are always equal benefits and drawbacks to every person's situation event. There is equal pain and pleasure in every person's situation and event. And two helps us to create that balance, to exercise our brains, our minds in such a way that we can appreciate that balance more and more. The hero today is the, 7, 4, 11, and 2, 13, is a 4. Let me just make sure. Yeah, the hero today is a 4. And 4 in the hero position, remember I just said, it's the visionary. 4 is about, um, it is the visionary, and it helps us to shift boundaries. But 4 is also about integrity and truth. 4 is about being able to see the whole picture. So when we've got four in the hero position, it helps to keep us grounded. It also helps, um, it helps us to be practical and it helps us to stay in authenticity, in truth, to connect deeply to our truth. What is true for me? So for example, you may be connecting to the energy of the 16 or the 7 and you might um, you might be longing for this deep spiritual connection and so you meet somebody who um, belongs to a particular spiritual group or belief system and they are so convinced that their system is the one for you that they try and con that they try and sort of um, yeah, that they try and convince you that that's what you should be following or doing or, or thinking or whatever the case may be. So you find, may find that that doesn't really resonate with you, but you're desperate, you're looking for some sense of connection. So you, you're prepared to like override the voice inside that goes, mm, I don't really think this is going to be working for me. Four in the hero position is the one that shows you the truth and that says, you know, really Loretta, just get a grip. There is no way that you are going to um, be a devoted whatever because this doesn't resonate with you. This is, it's not that whatever they're trying to convince you of is untrue. It's just not resonating with you. It's not in integrity with who you are and how you want to live your life. So four in the hero position really helps us to connect to what is true for me. And when I can connect to what is true for me, then I can allow you to connect to what is true for you. And then we don't have all this, you know, my way is the right way. So four in the hero position really helps us to connect to that. And because we've got a four in the root of the life map, that connection is even more possible. The villain today is a two, and two in the villain position means that we, we don't um, take our feelings into account. We don't take our feelings or other people's feelings into account. So we might be brash, we might be harsh, we might be too outspoken, we might um, override someone else's boundaries unwittingly and hurt their feelings because we're not sensitive to that. We might cut ourselves off from our own emotions. And remember, when you suppress an emotion or you ignore an emotion, it goes underground and it will sabotage you in ways that you don't even connect to that emotion. So it is um, important for us to keep that sense of awareness that we may feel cut off or blunted from our emotions today. The um, safety energy lock number 16 is located on the thumb. So when you hold the thumb, remember you harmonize the stomach and spleen organ function energy. And this is really important with, re with um, regard to the villain today because the spleen organ function energy is the one about feeling, remember? So what holding the thumb will do is it will help to um, balance that function between the thinking and the feeling so that we don't override the feeling in favor of thinking. It also helps to harmonize worry and anxiety and it harmonizes any conditions associated with the surface of the skin. And remember, safety energy lock number 16 is about breaking down scars. So when you hold the thumb, it also helps to soften scar tissue, physical, mental, emotional, and even spiritual. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.